I'm Mark Golub, and rockets are falling on Israel. We're joined by Shalom TV's Ron Jacobson for this Shalom TV breaking news update. Ron, first I want to know what's going on in Israel at this very moment. Well, it is called an operation so far, but it looks like it, that it's escalating by the minutes. Um, we have had two rocket attacks on Tel Aviv tonight in Israel. It's 8 o'clock uh, p.m. in Israel, and one even north of uh, Tel Aviv, which is in Herzliya. How unusual is it for Israel to be experiencing rocket attacks either in Tel Aviv or north of Tel Aviv? It is very rare. It's not happened in years. And uh, people in Tel Aviv went down to the bomb shelters. Okay. By the way, we have for you, just to show you what Israelis are watching right now, we're going to show you what Israelis are watching on Channel 2, one of the major networks in Israel. So let's show them right now. Ron, what are we seeing here? We're seeing here uh, some attacks in Gaza. They're saying that three terrorists have been eliminated. Last night, what happened in terms of, I believe it's now called Operation Protective Edge. Mm -hmm. That is what the Israelis are calling the operation now in Gaza. Uh, describe to us what the IAF and the IDF, both the Israeli Air Force and the Defense Forces in general, are doing in Israel right now? Well, we had over 130 rockets launched at Israel in the past 24 hours, and Israel said enough is enough. Uh, they have attacked overnight over 50 targets in Gaza, um, and uh, right now the and this is by, by the way, you are hearing an app on Ron's phone, and I want to describe this, then you explain it. Ron's family is in Tel Aviv right now. Where is your wife and children? In Tel Aviv. And where are they literally? Uh, they are right now in the bomb shelter because everyone was asked to go down there. And what happened on your phone just now? Uh, this is a new app that is uh, becoming crazy in Israel, so to say. Uh, two Israeli developers, uh, Avi Sprung and Kobe Sneer, let's give them the credit for that, have created this app. It's called Red Alert, and you can download it from the App Store or Google Play. And every time a rocket is launched at Israel, it will beep and let you know exactly where it, uh, where it landed. Okay, so the reason this phone app went off right now as Ron and I are with you live here at Shalom TV is that Ron's family received this alert as well. He has downloaded this app onto his phone. Uh, some of the other people here at Shalom TV have downloaded it on their phone. And we know every moment a rocket is fired against Israel, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, by the way, how many rockets have been launched by Hamas in the last period of time? We, we're talking about the last 24 hours, 130 rockets. 130 rockets. Does that mean 130 rockets landed in Israel? Uh, no, because uh, thank God we have Iron Dome, uh, which is um, you know catching them and eliminating them before they hit the targets, including the two rockets that were launched today at Tel Aviv. Okay. What about ground troops? They have not yet been sent in, but they are being prepared, correct? Yes. Last night, the Israeli government approved 15,000 troops, and then this morning, Israel time, they approved an additional 40,000. That makes uh, a grand total of 55,000 ground troops awaiting deployment into Gaza. Amazing. Now, last night, the IAF, the Israel Air Force, did strike various Hamas targets, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And we have for you some video, literally from the IAF. Tell us what we're watching. Well, we're watching um, different targets that uh, the Israeli uh, Air Force has attacked. Where they talked about 50 targets last night. Four of them major ones uh, that were responsible for launching those uh, missiles against Israel. We are very, very happy more than happy. We are basically uh, honored that Ron Jacobson has now joined the Shalom TV staff. You'll be seeing him all the time. Ron has an enormous, uh, profound background in television, both in Israel and in the United States. And he was working for a news agency in Israel before he joined us here at Shalom TV. I tell you this not so much to give you his professional credentials, but for you to understand, he is here. His wife and children are still in Israel. They'll be joining him later on. And I just want you to speak to our audience for a moment. You're a father. You're a husband and a father. And, you know, when I came in today, that Ron's on the phone, and he, then his lap goes off telling him 
that there's a strike. The, the, when the app goes off, it tells us also where in Israel, exactly. correct? Where in Israel the strike is occurring. And then you told us that your wife and children are in a bomb shelter. Yes. How did you know that? Uh, well, the, the app went off saying that the, a rocket attack was launched at Tel Aviv. And so I text messaged her and uh, she said that everyone is safe in the bomb shelter, including the dog. Uh, and uh, the kids today, by the way, in summer school went through a, a drill. So they already knew uh, what is going to happen. Uh, and that only shows you how much the Israeli intelligence already knows things. You know, they took the kids in Tel Aviv uh, for a bomb drill. And in the afternoon Israel time, uh, rockets were launched at Tel Aviv. How much anxiety does this provoke for you and your wife? Well, it's, Tell them. It's, 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 it's definitely not fun, but living in Israel, you are used to things like that happening every so often, and it, it is not taken as dramatic, so to say, as uh, you would see it. Even for me, being here now, uh, it, it, it has an even more dramatic effect than actually being there and going down Very to the bomb center. Uh, I want to show a map of the radius in which Hamas rockets can go. And again, describe for our audience what we're seeing okay. on the screen right now. We're talking about the uh, 45 uh, kilograms of those uh, missiles, and they can go uh, a 17 kilometer uh, range, which is a little bit uh, uh, over 10, uh, 12 miles. Uh, this is the uh, close proximity to the Gaza Strip. And we've seen a lot of those rockets go, uh, get launched also before this whole thing happened. Yes. Now, uh, this is expanding Hold further. Hold on one second. Let's go back for one second, Sloan. Yes. We're gonna, I just want to show one more thing on that first map, because mm -hmm. people know the names they wrote. Mm -hmm. And I want you to, if you can see, if, if, take a look. Again, it's not close up, but um, they wrote is in this Perimeter, correct? Right. It is in, you see in the center there? Yes. That. So that's stay wrote. Now let's ex see the expanded range of these rockets. Okay. And so, now what cities do we see? And now uh, at, at the tip of this, we see Tel Aviv and Herzliya. We're talking about the range of uh, 45 miles. Um, and um, as you um, mentioned yesterday in the telecast, uh, Hamas said uh, that they can successfully launch a rocket at any city in Israel, and they have proven that so far. Mm -hmm. By the way, please know, uh, many Americans don't understand the geography of Israel and where cities are in relationship to other cities. Herzliya is at the moment, nor I mean, at the moment, Herzliya is north of Tel Aviv, and at the moment, rockets have gone as far as, uh, have been shot at, at Herzliya, mm -hmm. which is above Tel Aviv. So that gives you a sense of what, at the moment, the threat of these rockets is to the people of Israel. And geography-wise, if we talk about Tel Aviv and Herzliya, are kind of in the center of uh, the, you know, the uh, sea line of Tel Aviv, of Israel. Sorry. Uh, this is not fair to ask you, but I'll ask you anyway. What do you expect the IDF, the Israel Defense Forces, to do in Operation Protective Edge? I think that uh, uh, you know uh, Israel understands that uh, doing surgical strikes from the air against Gaza uh, only destroys certain amount of uh, infrastructure that the Hamas has, and um, you know it, the public opinion in Israel wants it to get done over and done with, so to say. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also seen uh, some escalation in the political landscape with Lieberman and Netanyahu. You know, where Lieberman said that uh, Netanyahu is not going full force, I think that he understands he needs to get the job done. Mm -hmm. Do you expect ground troops to be used? Uh, this will be the last resort because it is going to be a very dangerous operation. Uh, sending Israeli soldiers into Gaza is something that will not um, end without casualties, so to say. Shalom TV will continue to keep you apprised of any major developments in Israel's Operation Protective Edge. And please remember, I'll be with you at 3 p.m. today with a full hour devoted to Israel in turmoil when we'll be speaking to a representative of the IDF in Israel, who'll bring us up to date on Israel's military operations. We'll be speaking to a member of the mayor's office in Tel Aviv 
to see how his community is doing now that it is under rocket assault. We'll be talking to a senior advisor to the Israeli ambassador in Washington, and we'll be speaking with a political correspondent of the Times of Israel in Jerusalem. That's at 3 p.m. today. I hope you can join us right now. For Ron Jacobson, I'm Mark Golub. We return you to our regularly scheduled programming.